My name is Maria Gabo. I'm from Kazakhstan, Pavlodar. My inspiration to fight is my bad life. I was fighting like four years here. I want to make really big money to help my family to have a normal life because I never have normal life. Even in Kazakhstan, we live poor because like my father died. He dies when I was 11. Like I found his purple, him purple as a couch. My mother was working the two jobs, and like you know, sometimes we barely have food at home. I wasn't close with anyone from my family mm -hmm. and some of my family members were abusive and they like put inside of me so much aggression. When I just was growing up, I was fighting the school a lot. And after like, I go to boxing, keep boxing, and start training, and let my aggression out. My parents put on me this aggression, and now I have it. But I need to let it out. I can't have it inside of me, you know. That's why like, I like to fight, because there is a place where Relief. When I was nine, I go to kickboxing and I was there until I was like 11. Mm -hmm. And my father died after I was depressed a while and we moved back to Kazakhstan. We was living in Russia. When we moved back, like I start going to boxing because I didn't find any kickboxing section. And when I was 14, I first time go on champion of Kazakhstan and I finish all three fights. And I end up in national boxing team. My dream was go to Olympic games because something, most likely corruption. <laughs> this never let me go. After seven years being there, I just switched to MMA. Three years later, like I met my managers, and in 2019, I got invited to States on Dana White Contender Show. I started training in the U.S., I changed the diet. I start work after my surgery because I don't have sponsors. That moment that I was two fights in a row, I don't have any sponsors. I make my surgery before I lost my fight and I have to fight with no ACL to make it, <laughs> to make this surgery. Yeah, even it's a lot of obstacles right now that I have to work at the same time, but I believe that everything will work out and I can become a champion in the future. During this rehab, I'm really grateful first my boss in the Fels, Mike, that he was having me as a bouncer. Second, I'm grateful Leo, 
Leonard uh, for having me here as tattoo artist and piercer. Also, I'm grateful my friends from Kafkas. They let me stay like two months free. And now I stay in at the r and I manage r and so thanks Rod and his place, his house. Thanks my coach Roger, all my managers, because they're helping me. And if I struggle with money, they always borrow me money. And thanks to them too. And thank you everyone. <laughs> <laughs>